Okay. As you can see, I've found myself in quite the predicament here with a bubble attached to my head. Anyway, if you're looking for NES games and you want to find a game that's new and interesting and exciting, I think I got one for you. And it has to do with this little bubble. This is a review show. This is a review show. You don't have to like it, but I hope you like it. So welcome back to the channel. If you're a fan of aftermarket NES games like I am, you know I love them. I think I've got a game for you. But before we get to that, if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel and you'll get more content just like this. And also make sure you stick around to the end and I'll tell you where you can get this game for free to play for yourself. And let's get into it. Bobble is a short game for the NES. It was made in one month for the NES Dev Competition 2019. The version of the game you see here was released by Morph Cat Games on November 18th, 2020. I would describe this game as a physics-based puzzle platformer Metroidvania. Essentially, you're a bubble. Water is your friend, and the solid blocks will kill you. You hold A to dive, then release and let the buoyancy handle the rest. Now your main object, besides getting through the entire maze, is to find these lost little duckies. And along the way you'll find power-ups and these little bell icons, which are essentially your save points. All right, so now you know the basics of everything. Let's talk about the good stuff. All right, so let's get into some of the stuff that makes this game good. Well, first of all, the game has great graphics. If you're a fan of pixel art, and especially pixel art done on the Nintendo Entertainment System with its limitations, you'll immediately notice how high the quality is of these graphics. I mean, the game is just simply beautiful. Look at the animation on this bubble. Look at the way this water looks. It's just very well done. Now, when you add the physics and the way the physics work to the graphic capabilities of this game, I mean, mwah, my compliments to the chef. The way the physics works is it takes a little bit to get down, but once you get it down, it makes total sense. The deeper you push your bubble down into the water, the higher it jumps. The more you move right or left, depending on if you're in the water or out of the water, determines your velocity. It's almost hard to explain in words, but once you play it for about five minutes, you'll 100% understand what I'm talking about. Another good thing about this game is it's just plain fun. The way the puzzles are put together and you have to figure out how to platform through the puzzle-like elements makes it challenging yet extremely enjoyable. Plus you add a Metroidvania element to this where you're looking for different power-ups in order to move to different places that you couldn't get to before. It's simply a great concept for a video game. I know it doesn't seem like it, you're a bubble. And how do you relate to a character that's a bubble? But they've pulled it off here. Good job, Morph Cat Games. All right, so that was the good stuff. But no review is complete until you talk about all that stuff that bubbles up to the top. Yeah, we're talking about the bad stuff. You know, there's not really too much bad to say about Bubble. But if I have to pick one thing, I'd say this game is way too short. And I know it's just a proof of concept. It was developed in a month, but there is just so much potential here. This definitely should be turned into a full game at some point. I certainly would pay money for it. Maybe even a Kickstarter. And if there's one more little thing about it that kind of irked me just a little bit, there's an area in the underwater stages which brings back PTSD moments and flashbacks of the underwater stage of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game on the NES. Now, after owning that game for many years, I got pretty good at that part. I can usually make it through with only one hit, but this section that you see here now brought back that feeling of frustration when you're first trying out that game and you're trying to get through and dying over and over and over again. But as much as I complain, I really love trying. And that's kind of what makes this game worth playing, is that even though you fail, the checkpoints are so close to the failure point that you feel like, okay, I'll give this another go. And you keep going and going until you get it. And eventually, you can probably speedrun the game once you really get good at it and figure things out. This just leaves me wanting more of Bobble. So obviously, you can tell I think Bubble is a great game and worth playing for anybody. So if you want to know how to get this game, all you have to do 
is look in the links below in the description and you can get this for yourself. Also, as a little bonus, I'll have a link to where you can get all the other games that were for the NES in the 2019 competition. If that's something you're interested in, check it out in the links below. If you like this video and you want to see more, leave a comment, let us know. Give it a like if you liked it, dislike it if you dislike it. Until later, we'll see you soon.